Kia ora unicorns. So this is my first white Christmas. I'm very excited, even though I've been in London in a year and a half. Last Christmas I went home to New Zealand and our Christmases are very much like margaritas and the sun and it's summer and it's it's just beautiful. It's equally beautiful over here. I'm really excited for my first winter Christmas, but it just means I can't really have cold slushy ice drinks. So today I'm going to try and make eggnog. Now this recipe isn't going to be really authentic because obviously eggnog is made with eggs and it has dairy in it as well I'm pretty sure. Um, and I don't, I don't eat animal products so we're gonna try and make something else. I've never tried eggnog so I'm not sure that this is going to replicate it but I feel like this would be a good replacement for it. So I hope you enjoy, let's get started. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it in the blender, blend it all up and then I'm gonna heat it up in a pot and then I'm gonna try it like that. I know that you can have eggnog either hot or cold but since it's snowing right now, I feel like hot is going to be the option for me. So we've got a whole can here of coconut milk and it's really dodgy because the can opener was not cooperating. Now normally I'm all for using the uh, the one that comes in the cardboard packs because it's lower in fat, but it's Christmas time. Let's get fat, right? And I've got half a cup of cashews. They have uh, been soaking overnight and drained. This here is 25 grams worth of dates, and then there is a quarter of a cup of water in there as well. I soaked them overnight as well just to make them easier to blend. Leave the water with the dates. Right, now we're going to put in one quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, one quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm going to put brandy in, this one here from Sainsbury's is vegan, and I don't know how much to put in, so put in whatever you like, it's Christmas, enjoy it, so I'm going to blend that up. It's all blended. So it's quite nice and thick, like a smoothie kind of a consistency. And then I'm just going to I always forget how to use this one. Ah, wrong one. How much fun is it? There we go. Nice and hot now, so I'm turning off the heat. I have no idea what sort of glass you're supposed to serve this in, so I'm just going to put it in a wine glass, I think. And I've made it in a mess. Whoops! And then I'm going to put a little bit of nutmeg on top, I think. take an Instagram photo so you can just hold on two seconds. Okay, I'm gonna taste test it. Mm. I have no idea if this is what it's meant to taste like, but I could happily drink. 10 of these on Christmas. <laughs> of course you could do this without brandy, but it's the boozy season, why would you? Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so that you can keep up with my vegan kitchen shenanigans. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!